We're going to begin with some ruby red white. I just have the cake makeup here. And I have a petal sponge. I've loaded up my sponge. And I'm going to start right over the eye. The inner corner of the eye, covering the eyelid. A little down below. And then up over onto the forehead. Kind of drawing out sort of a teardrop shape. I'm going to do that on both sides and hopefully make the shapes symmetrical. I want it to be a nice opaqueness of the with that white, but I want it to also seem very soft on her skin. I'll take the white and go to the edge of her nostril and kind of spin the sponge around like that into a circle on both sides and then connect underneath on her upper lip to create a muzzle and then I'll just drop that down below over her chin and along her jawline. Now I haven't even had to go back to my water. All the water that I used on my sponge initially has carried me through to do that much coverage so far. Whenever you use a creamy um, face paint and any creamy based cake makeup, it goes on much easier with just a little bit of water. I'm now taking the ruby red orange makeup and I'm going to start in the forehead and blend that in to where the white is on both sides. I'm going to go up to her hairline and you can see how easy it is to just blend that in. I'm going to drop down and kind of feather it into the white because that'll be more fur like down the bottom. Go underneath the eye keep the shape of the muzzle and go onto top of the top of the nose and I'm going to go down the nose like so and just around the other side onto the cheekbone, feathering it out like we did on the other side. And again, keeping the shape of that muzzle. I'm going to then take the ruby red pecan, just a nice brown. I'm going to drop some right into the middle section of her hairline and kind of had that drop down to the center of the forehead. And I'll do it just on the sides of the nose there, a little bit on the temple as well. Then we'll grab a large round brush, like so. And I'm going to use the ruby red bubblegum. Just go 
over the nostril and sweep down. Yeah, there's a sponge there. Over the nostril and sweep down. So I've covered her nose in the pink. Then I'm going to get a small round and some ruby red black, which is a nice jet black. I'm going to start in the center of her forehead. Squiggle my brush down, and as I go, I create an upside down V, middle of her forehead, and I'm going to mimic the shape, but not connect the lines above it. I'll do that once more. And then I'm the next set, I'm going to stop early and branch off and do a second from that same one. Do the same thing on the other side. And then I'll just do one that goes through the eyebrow. Do it again on the other side. And you guessed it one more time. Then at the top sides of her head, just going to do like an upside down U, and then upside down U, the outer corner of her eye, I'm going to come in and down with the same squiggling motion. and fill that one in. I'll even line her eye. And we'll do it again. The squiggle there, squiggle down. And notice that it gets very thin at the ends of the lines. Line your eye. We'll do one underneath. Tiger stripe right underneath, and then just a squiggly line underneath um, the eye that goes with the curve of the eye. Same thing on the other side. Do it 
again. I'm just laying down the brush and squiggling it back and forth. Then I'm going to lay the brush down as a teardrop right on the side of her nostril. Do that again over here. I'm just laying the brush down. Then I'm going to outline the tiger nose. Extend her nostril by just laying the brush down right at the edge of her nostril. Outline the bottom of the nose as well. And bring a line up. You can see right on her nose. I'm going to create the muzzle now. I'm just drawing a simple line right where the orange and the white meet. It gets thin towards the end. And then I'm just going to stipple my brush into the direction, in towards this line here in the center of the face. Stipple. To a small point. So they, the dots gradually get smaller and they can overlap as well. I'll do three small lines coming out the corner of her mouth and then fill in her lip with black. And then I'm going to do a stripe that goes along her cheekbone. And then it's going to drop down in the direction of the muzzle as well. And I do that in the same on the other side, on the cheekbone, it goes up. and drops down in the direction of the muzzle. I'll do one in between in the direction of the muzzle. One in between direction of the muzzle. One last stripe along the side on each side. spots on each side of the nose and then fan out some fur along the chin. I'm just flicking my brush up and down using only the very tip, you can see this, of my brush, the very very tip. I'm going to do that for some fur as well on the chin or on the, the jaw and the lower part of her cheek. Do that on both sides. Can you open your eyes? Look at the camera. And smile. And that's our simple tiger.